guys ready? I feel weight on it. Can you tell us where the shark is? It's gonna go to the other side. It is definitely a white tip. Ah, he's twisting on the line. Ah, uh, this is so nerve wracking right now. Uh, yeah, decent size. Can someone get a tail rope back here? Oh, 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 come on. Okay, can we slide him up a little bit? I'm gonna go right in, right, right in, right? Ready, ready, ready. One, two, three. <sighs> Is that plastic or a dead flying fish? So now we're in Haiti. It's plastic. The excitement's building. I'm so pumped to see a juvenile white tip. And then the first day we're out there for the first hour, and then the second hour, and then the third hour. Come on, shark. And then by hour number six, zilch. It's my least favorite thing to catch. Disappointment kind of sets in. You start having a little bit of doubt creep into your mind. I guess we're not very good at this. It's always sad when you're throwing in a lot of effort and not coming up with anything, because waiting can be frustrating. Start to lose the faith a little bit on occasions. Sitting on a boat, not seeing any animals, pulling up miles of longline survey gear with the bait's not even touched. I don't think I've ever been this consistently bad at fishing. We almost feel like we're in year number one of the project again. <laughs> what happened? We all still talk about that first year, like, you know, like it was the good old days, so. It was just a bunch of friends who we'd heard these rumors about these oceanic white tips being in Cat Island, and we all chipped in our own money and found a cooler of bait. The original question was very simple, was are they here, and if they are here, where do they go? I remember Ed and I kind of looked at each other and were like, are these sharks just fat? Or could they be pregnant? Like, we didn't want to say it, not that they would have hurt us, but. So the second year, we added a member to our team that was running an ultrasound now. We learned that between about 75 to 80% of the females that we're seeing are pregnant. So then that raises questions. If you want to conserve a species that's moving such huge distances regularly, you need to find out not only where they're spending the majority of their time, but also areas where they're delivering their pups. And in 2018, we got some information that they're seeing juvenile white tips in Haiti. And that's why we were assembling the team again and boarding this beautiful ship, the Aleutia, to be able to give us the opportunity to go to Haiti and see if we could observe, catch, satellite tag some of these juveniles because we know absolutely nothing about that stage of their life history. But it kind of sets in, this might not be the same situation we have in Cat Island. So are we gonna catch any in Haiti? Because we're only there for a certain time. And then we get a phone call that a fisherman has one. So now we know, yes, we're finally gonna see a juvenile oceanic white tip. We pull up to the animal, I take the float from the fisherman, and I slowly pull in the line. I'm so paranoid. I'm gonna snap the monofilament off and lose the shark. Finally get it right to the surface. The animal's fine. We're gonna get a satellite tag out on it. I'm gonna go right in, right, right in, ready? ready, ready, ready. One, two, three. <clears throat> nice, nice Sean. Fork is 102. Fork 102. And STL is one. Now we all just go right to work. You know, getting all the samples we need to get, all the measurements, the DNA, getting the satellite tag, which is the most important thing with this with this juvenile. And it's kind of a moment of excitement and relief. You want me to take the to actually see one 
alive, get it tagged, get all of the necessary information we want and see it swim off happily. Hopefully still swimming around collecting data was, uh, was a very special moment. Where he goes. And now it's just a matter of waiting. Three months, the tag will come off and then we'll start to get a little bit of a glimpse into the vertical and horizontal movements of, of this animal. But I think people will recognize that how significant this population of juveniles is in Haiti and hopefully we'll be able to garner some protection. Getting that first juvenile oceanic it really, really did feel like we were coming full circle in our own lives, our personal lives, and in this project. We've stuck with it in a way that I don't know how many things I've stuck with this, you know, this passionately. Got it done, man. Sweet. Yeah.